In this episode, let us work on our navbar component. So we want it to be like this. We will be having eShop here. We'll be having a search component. We'll be having this card component. Then we'll be having this. We need to have a parent div, which is this one. And we can add some styles for this. So I'll say class name. And then right here, uh, this will be a sticky navbar. So whenever I scroll, you see it remains at the top. But when it's at the top, it's uh, positioned relatively, meaning that it's occupying the space there. That's what a uh, sticky mean. So when we include sticky, we must include another property, which is top, and we set it to zero. Now here, we will want the width of this to be full, and then we'll have a BG of straight, and then dash 200, and then we can add a Z index of 30. We can have a small shadow on it. If I come back here, if I save this and come back here, uh, we have this right here. I hope you can see it. This straight background there for our nav. So let's remove this nav. I'll start by adding another div. And for this div, we'll use it to set our padding so here so padding along the y-axis of four and then the border here uh, to be bottom and also i'll just say 1px so i enter a custom value here of 1px so that will just give padding to our navbar and also create uh, a border at the bottom a small line okay now here we will use our container because we want to enter the content for our navbar container uh, make sure to import it from this container and we'll have content in here so i'll add another div and inside this div we will have our eShop logo and that eShop logo will be a link so i'll use a link component from next uh, js right here i say eShop in here this link component expects us to pass a href property and we will set this to go to our home page i can save and we see this eShop right here and we are able to click it for it to go to the home page okay so after the link we will have our search bar but we will not be adding the search bar right now okay but we can just add a press holder and i'll say search i'll add another div so we are just adding the basic structure of our navbar so here i'll just say cut uh, count And then down here, we'll have our user menu, okay? I save. So for this div, we will add a class name and we can add the styles right here. We'll display flex. So by default, the flex direction will be in arrow. So if I happen to save that, you can see everything have changed into arrow. Items will be center. Uh, we'll justify the item be between. And then we'll add a gap here of three. And finally, we'll add MD uh, to have a gap of uh, zero. Now, down here, uh, if I save, you'll see that these are not arranged nicely, these two. So we come here, we can add a class name, and we'll say flex, and then we'll say items center. And then right here, we'll have a gap of uh, 8 MD full colon to have a gap of 12. And sorry here, we should have added full colon as well. So I'll save. And there we go. So we have cut count, user menu, search bar will be here, eShop is here. Okay. Now for this search bar, will not show it on smaller screens so what i'll do i'll just add a class name and then i'll say hidden by default but on larger screen from md to have a display of block so from hidden to block i'll save and if i minimize the screen here you see such is hidden but if we come back it's there okay that's good. 
Now this eShop, I want it to look like this, this styling. Uh, if you have an image, you can add it. But for me, I just changed the font. So in some few videos ago, I showed you how to add the font uh, from Google. So here we need to import our font uh, function. So I'll say import and it will come from next Google font. And now right here, I can define a constant for it. So I can say const red dressed to be equal to red dressed. Uh, we invoke it. We pass subsets here. So subsets full colon to be Latin. And then it expects us to also pass uh, the font weight like we did with poppins. So here I'll say weight and full colon pass only 400. And we can now make use of this red dressed at our logo here. So I can say class name. And here we say red dressed then dot class name. Now I'll save. And there we go. It has changed. We use the dollar sign like that. Okay. So that we are able to add more styles here. And I'll say font to be bold. So font hyphen bold and space. I want the text to be a large. So I'll say text hyphen. I'll say to Excel and I'll save. And there we go. Now we have our logo there. And we have created our basic navbar right there. We'll be adding these components as we move. So I'll see you in the next episode uh, where we will create our footer.